Dallas, Fort Worth, and surrounding Metroplex get ready for the hottest new nighttime entertainment show. I've searched all over the Metroplex looking for the hottest undiscovered talent, and guess what? They weren't hard to find. Even better, I'm bringing them straight to you. It's called Ken Cox, Catch a Rising Star. I've got singers, dancers, comedians, poets, bands, you name it, I got it. And you don't even have to leave your couch. And it's not the type of show where you boo people off stage or you vote people off and send them home brokenhearted. It's just hard-working entertainers working hard to entertain you. It's called Ken Cox, Catch a Rising Star, right here. Ken Cox now. I have the privilege, I have the distinct privilege of introducing to you guys on the show tonight one of my good, one of my favorite artists. Uh, we had the privilege of performing together. We did um, uh, a play with Shelly Garrett years Ooh. ago. Long time ago. <laughs> yeah. uh, Lisa Ray. Lisa Ray, Lisa Ray, that's right, that's right. Yeah. And uh, uh, Howard Hewitt is in the house tonight, ladies and gentlemen. He's doing his concert back in the Metroplex. <laughs> show it's, a, it's, it's just now getting off the ground mm -hmm. and uh, every week I, I like to bring on a different artist and when I got the call that you were going to be in town that you allowed me to have an interview with you. Well, it's my distinct honor. Uh, it's a pleasure to have you here man. You don't know what this is going to do. This is going to boost my ratings. I, I, oh, oh, I hope so. <laughs> take them down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so Howard, you're in the city. How long are you here? Uh, just, I was here last night, tonight, and then I leave in the morning. And so you travel a lot. Are you, are you constantly moving around the city? Constantly around the moving. I'm like, I call myself the weekend warrior. The weekend you know, warrior. Yeah. Okay, like, okay. Uh, every weekend. So you, you, you just come in off the road and you're getting ready to go on the road again. Where are you going next? Uh, next show I think is Birmingham and um, Chicago and somewhere else. If I'm not sitting in front of my, my schedule, I really don't. All you got to do is just clap your hands with me. Come on, just like I, I know what it's like being in different cities and, and, and in different hotels all the mm -hmm. time. You mm -hmm. kind of get lost every now and then. Well, he's but, trying to keep it together. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I was with Michael uh, Caldwell mm -hmm. earlier today when you called and, and I said I got to get an interview with him. Uh, okay. you, you've done a lot of things. What are some of the projects that you're working on right now? Uh, right now I'm just working on the next, um, the next solo project. Um, you know, with the whole independent situation. The way it is now is it leaves you the 
I, and I love it the way it is now because it leaves you the luxury of being able to mm -hmm. take your time and do your project. You don't have the bureaucracy of major record companies or right. an A&R guy that doesn't know, hasn't taken the time to really, you know, look at your career to see which which direction. You don't have, we don't have those people hanging over your head. You yeah. just, yeah. You just uh, hanging over your shoulder. You just do your project and, and uh, take your time and put it out. Because it's not about how long it takes mm -hmm. to do something. It's about what you put out when you put it out. So now you have more freedom of expression as well as more freedom with what you do with your business. Yeah, exactly. I mean, like, you know, the independent situation the way it is now, like I said, you can cut that middleman out, and okay. um, which is the record companies. And, you know, I mean, there, there's there's certain uh, advantages to having the record company with you. you got deep, deep pockets mm -hmm. as far as stuff is concerned. but. A lot of times with the internet, with um, social media and all that kind of stuff, you don't, you may not need as deep pockets as yeah, you yeah. needed before. And it's nothing wrong with uh, cutting the middleman out because a lot of times we had to have the middleman to get us into certain places we uh, couldn't yeah. get ourselves. Well, I think if, if you're if you're a brand new artist, you know, uh, just starting out, you know, 20, 21 years old, and you don't have a base, right. you know, then that's that's like. Um, that's a good way to get started, get your foundation. I'm a foundation man, I believe in in a strong foundation right. whatever you do, but if you have a base already and you have somebody that's savvy as far as like social media, internet, iTunes, Amazon.com, all those different uh, uh, avenues, then you know, why are you gonna, uh, unless they're coming with another type of situation, unless they're coming with something, you know, um, something like that's more substantial than money i mean it's yeah. like you know i yeah. can you know thank god i can go out and make money yeah yeah i've always you know i've never had a problem making money so you know it's not that's not the that's not the uh situation that's not the case so if necessary we're coming with something other than you yeah. know other than yeah. that, I, like a commitment <laughs> I, i've know? often said it's not about it's not about the next gig that you get it's more about building a career if you build a career the gigs will always be there when it threw your mind You wouldn't have been found to love this time And you found the one who cares it ain't coming off his love I want this song just to eat your mind Sing it off Now you're being on the show Thank today. You. We were in the limousine uh, when we was on tour with Shelly Gary. We was in the limousine. I don't know if you will remember this, mm -hmm. but you had a plastic water bottle mm -hmm. and you put your shoulder on it and you cracked it. Oh. And you made me think that you was cracking <laughs> your neck. neck. Yes. <laughs> you remember that? That kills people, man. It's man, like, it's funny. man it's I funny. didn't say a word. I said, man, I guess he howled you and so he can crack his neck. Like Thanks that. so much for being on the show. <laughs>
Fort Worth, and surrounding Metroplex, get ready for the hottest new nighttime entertainment show. I've searched all over the Metroplex looking for the hottest undiscovered talent, and guess what? They weren't hard to find. Even better, I'm bringing them straight to you. It's called Ken Cox, Catch a Rising Star. I've got singers, dancers, comedians, poets, bands, you name it, I got it. And you don't even have to leave your couch. And it's not the type of show where you boo people off stage or you vote people off and send them home brokenhearted. It's just hard-working entertainers working hard to entertain you. It's called Ken Cox, Catch a Rising Star, right here.